Charles Davidson Bell Self Portrait Lieutenant General. Sir John Bell KCB, Mezzotint, painted by John Lucas, engraved by Henry Cousins Landing of Van Riebeck at the Cape of Good Hope, 1652. Cape Wagon Crossing a River Charles Davidson Bell FRSC was the Surveyor General in the Cape Colony. An artist, heraldist, and designer of Cape medals and stamps. Born on October 22, 1813 at Newhall, Crail, Fife, Scotland, he was educated locally at St. Andrews University. Bell left Scotland and sailed to South Africa, landing at the Cape of Good Hope in 1830 and through his uncle Sir John Bell, secretary to the Cape government, was given a post in the civil service. He was appointed as expedition artist on Dr. Andrew Smith's two-year journey north as far as the Limpopo in 1834. He went from acting clerk of the Legislative Council in 1838, to Assistant Surveyor General in 1843, to Surveyor General in 1848. In 1851, he designed a silver gallantry medal for Cape Governor Sir Harry Smith to present to troops during the Eighth Frontier War. This is often referred to as the first South African medal. Appointed to the Postal Inquiry Board in 1852, he designed the well-known Cape of Good Hope triangular stamp, the first of that shape, which became extremely rare and consequently much sought after by philatelists. His design of rectangular stamps remained in use until 1902. Many of his sketches and paintings show a whimsical sense of humor, though his sensitive portrayals of the mixed population of Cape Town and of the tribes he encountered on the Smith Expedition to the North have become an invaluable record of life in 19th century South Africa. The return of many of his paintings from England to South Africa in 1978, gave art historians a fresh appreciation of his work and greater insight into that period of Cape history. However, in his essay Alcohol and Art, Russell Viun, professor in history at the University of South Africa wrote, international interest in the Hottentots of South Africa date back and span many centuries. Recurrent colonial encounters influenced the way in which artists, engravers, travel writers and colonial observers represented the Khoikhoi people. Against this backdrop, the colonial artist Charles Davidson Bell had produced a few sketches of Khoikhoi men and women, depicting them either as useless drunkards or lazy members of Cape society, the duplication and reduplication of these stereotyped images distributed as pictorial souvenirs in the form of 201 postcards invariably left an imprint of negativity in the psyche of the colonial beholder. Russell Viun, Bell also made an important contribution to heraldry in South Africa. Throughout his residence at the Cape, he copied old Dutch-slash-Afrikaner coats of arms from memorials, seals, stained-glass windows, and other artifacts, and in 1861 he advertised his intention of publishing them in book form. The book did not see the light of day, but he later gave the manuscript, the drawings, and his notes to his brother-in-law Daniel Krinayu. Krinayu built up his own heraldry collection, and after his death, the two collections were placed in a Cape Town museum, from where they were transferred to the South African Library in 1946. The material in the Bell Krinayu collection was eventually published in Cornelis Palma's Die Wappens van die U Afrikaanse families, and his later heraldry books. Bell designed the arms of the South African College, and the Three Anchors Badge of the South African Mutual Life Assurance Society, of which he was chairman at one time. Both emblems are still in use, and may well be the oldest academic arms and corporate logo in South Africa. Bell was a founder member and chairman of the South African Mutual Life Assurance Society. He was awarded a gold medal in 1851 for his oil painting depicting the landing of Van Riebeck at the Cape of Good Hope. A large number of his originals hang in the Library of Parliament in Cape Town, the University of the Witwatersrand and the Afrikaner Museum in Johannesburg. The book Travels in the Interior of South Africa by James Chapman, was illustrated by Bell. His reports of the Surveyor General, Charles D. Bell Esquire. On the Copper Fields of Little Namaquiland was written after a three-month visit to the area. He gave his name to the town of Belleville in the Cape, and Bell, a small village between Petty and Hamburg, near the mouth of the Kiskama River in the Eastern Cape. John Bell was a traveler and the eldest son of Charles Davidson Bell. Between 1861 and 1862 he accompanied Henry Samuel Chapman from Cape Town to Volthus Bay, through Herero Land to Lake Ngami and back to the Cape Colony via Shoshong, Kiruman, and Hopetown. He was married to Margaret Room in 1865 and died in 1878 in England. Charles Bell was a friend of Andrew Gettys Bain and was a pallbearer at his funeral in 1864. After his retirement in 1872 he returned to Scotland in 1873 with Helena and their three surviving children, 
where Helena Bell died on September 10, 1881 and he died on April 7, 1882. Charles Davidson Bell's coat of arms Bell married Martha Antoinette had been on June 3, 1841. John Alexander Bell born January 25, 1843 in Grahamstown Charles David Ibden Bell born August 1, 1845 in Cape Town Catherine Marianne Bell born December 16, 1848 at Canigou. Rondebosk, Cape Town died July 16, 1863 Charles Bell divorced Martha Ibden on July 1, 1850 having cited drive Lestock Wilson Stewart as correspondent. Court granted Charles Bell custody of the three children, Martha gave birth to second daughter Charlotte Margaret on October 17, 1850, Bell denied paternity. Charlotte Margaret died before April 10, 1866. Bell's second marriage to Helena Crinaw U on July 7, 1859. Helena Isabella Bell born May 31, 1860 in Cape Town Alexander Bell born September 15, 1861 in Cape Town Anthony Bell born February 9, 1863 in Cape Town. David Duncan Trail Bell born April 21, 1864 Cape Town died December 14, 1865 Catherine Susan Bell born May 11, 1865 Cape Town died September 13, 1865. Thanks for watching.